Welcome to the Indian Electoral System 101. As a citizen of India, you get to vote twice every five years. You can cast one vote in the national election and the other one in your state election. India is divided up into small constituencies, which are areas of roughly the same population. In your constituency, Keep in mind that the candidates can either belong to a political party or can stand as an independent. When a political party wins the election, it means that a majority of its candidates got elected. In the state elections, you are voting to create a body called the Legislative Assembly or the Vidhan Sabha. Each state has its own Legislative Assembly and their main function is to make laws within their own state. This body is made up of elected representatives from each constituency of that state. There are multiple candidates standing from each constituency and the one with the most votes becomes a member of the Legislative Assembly or an MLA. Each state's Legislative Assembly also elects candidates into the upper house of the parliament. This is called the Rajya Sabha or the Council of States. Each state has a specific number of seats allotted in the Rajya Sabha which are in proportion to the state's population. The lower house of the parliament is elected during the national elections. This is known as the Lok Sabha or the House of the People. Similar to the state election, one representative is elected from each constituency of the nation. Each of these elected candidates are called Members of Parliament or MP. We now have our three governing bodies, the Vidhan Sabha, the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha, where your elected representatives go on to vote for the President of India. The President of India, along with the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha, form the Parliament of India. The head of the government is the Prime Minister and is appointed by the President of India. The Prime Minister is usually from the political party that holds a majority of the seats in the Lok Sabha. The person to be appointed as Prime Minister must be a member of either House of the Parliament and also appoints members from the Houses into a body called the Cabinet of India. This body of ministers is in charge of specific portfolios such as the Ministry of Agriculture, Textiles, Defence, Finance, Law and Justice, Culture and other such ministries that have a direct effect on your life. You have two votes every five years. Two votes that help select those who govern and affect the lives of the largest democracy in the world. Use them well.